Hi, my name is Jason Harlow. Welcome to my V Office Hour. Today I'd like to go over Physics 131, H1S, Winter 2011, uh, Term Test 1, the Freeform Question Part B, which is based on Night Physics for Scientists and Engineers, 2nd Edition, Chapter 4, Kinematics in Two Dimensions, and in particular, uh, Section 4.3 on Projectile Motion. First, let's carefully read the question. A cat is chasing a mouse. The mouse runs in a straight line along the horizontal floor directly away from the cat at a speed of 1.2 meters per second. At a specific moment, the mouse is 0.8 meters in front of the cat, and the cat leaps with an initial velocity at an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal. At what initial speed must the cat leap in order to land on the poor mouse? Please write your final answer in the box provided in units of meters per second to the correct number of significant figures. Okay, so the first thing we will do is we will model the cat and the mouse as particles, which is maybe a little bit silly, but uh, since the sizes of the cat and the mouse are not given, that's pretty much all we can do. So, I'll just put a little exclamation point there because it's a little weird, but uh, let's draw a diagram. So here's the flat floor. Here is where we'll start with the cat. Here's where we'll start with the mouse. C and M. And basically what happens is the cat starts with some initial velocity, which we'll call uh, V sub zero C for cat and it's initially at 25 degrees above the horizontal and then the cat goes in some trajectory and lands <coughs> hopefully on the mouse and so the mouse is if this is y in that direction and we'll put x in this direction then uh, the mouse initial position is uh, 0 0.8 meters Right, zero meters uh, to the right of the cat, and the but the cat is starting at zero meters, the origin. Okay, so the mouse has a head start. I'll just put it here. Mouse has a head start. It's a it's in front of the cat, and then <clears throat> we're asked to find the initial speed of the cat. So the magnitude of V sub zero C vector, which I'll just call V sub zero C. Okay, so that, such that, the final position of the cat, X final of the cat equals the final position of the mouse. Uh, X sub F M, final of the mouse. So what this means is that the cat catches the mouse and has his nice little kitty meal. Okay, so we'll start with the mouse. Uh, first off, mouse um, runs at the constant speed. Runs at constant speed <clears throat> in the x direction. So v sub x of the mouse is equal to x final of the mouse minus x uh, initial of the mouse uh, divided by the time involved. Okay, so another way of looking at that, if you want to solve for the final, uh, it is that the x final of the mouse is equal to x initial of the mouse plus uh, vx of the mouse times time. Okay, so we'll save that for later. So we're going to set that equal to the final exposition of the cat. So next, let's talk about the cat. The cat is a projectile in 2D, a projectile. And the initial velocity We'll just draw with a little diagram here. Here is the theta, which is 25 degrees. 
here is V initial of the cat in the Y direction, here's V initial of the cat in the X direction. And we'll just remind ourselves that theta equals 25 degrees is known. And so what we'll do is we'll split the uh, cat um, trajectory into components. Components. Uh, so we'll think about the X and the Y separately. Draw a little table here. Um, as far as X, we know that the acceleration in the X direction is zero, so which means that the X component of velocity of the cat is equal to V initial of the cat uh, in the X direction. It never changes, it's constant. So it's V initial times cosine of theta. And this is equal to the x final of the cat minus x initial of the cat divided by time. So that, if we want to solve for the x position of the cat, which is final, uh, it's equal to the initial position plus the x speed times the time. Okay. And what we're going to do is, in order for the cat to catch the mouse, we're going to set that equal to the uh, final position of the mouse. Okay, so we're going to say equals x final mouse to catch the mouse. And so we have the equation looks like this. Uh, v initial cat times t times cosine of theta is equal to x initial of the mouse, which is the point uh, 8 meters, plus v x mouse times the time. And we don't know the time, unfortunately. And we need v 0 c. That's um, the equation we're trying to solve for. So the strategy here is we're going to use um, the y component to solve for the time. So let's go to the y component. The y component, we have a sub y is equal to negative g, the negative 9.8. And we need the time, and we know things about uh, the positions and the initial velocity. So I think the equation I want to use is y final of the cat is equal to y initial of the cat, cat plus uh, v initial of the cat in the y direction times time, plus 1 half a uh, sub y times t squared. And y final of the cat is equal to y initial of the cat, which is equal to zero. They start, he starts and ends at the same y position, which is on the ground. Okay, it's a flat ground. And v initial of the cat comes from that triangle above. v initial in the y direction is equal to v initial of the cat times now sine of theta. So plugging those values in uh, to this equation above and uh, solving out a little bit, you get v initial of the cat times time times sine theta is equal to one half uh, g times t squared. And if t does not equal zero, you can divide by t, both sides by t, in which case you get v initial cat times sine of theta is equal to g times t over 2. And so, we're not quite done yet here, so let's go down a little bit further. Um, solving here for t, you get t equals 2 uh, times v sub 0 c times sine theta divided by g. So what we did is we just used the y components to solve for the time, and we needed the time uh, over with the x component to, um, uh, to solve that. So we're going to take this time and plug it in over here and over um, right there, and then solve for the only light remaining unknown, which is V0C. Uh, so I will have to go onto the next page to do this. It's kind of a long one, but... Uh, okay. So, what we end up with, if we do that, is we get um, V0C times time, which is um, 2V0C times sine theta divided by G. 
times cosine of theta is equal to the initial position of the mouse uh, plus uh, v initial of the mouse, or the speed of the mouse, times time, where time is 2v0c times sine theta divided by g. Okay, so all we have to do is solve for uh, v sub 0 c. So rearranging these things a little bit, multiplying through and multiplying by g, I get 2 times sine theta times cosine theta times v 0 c squared is equal to x 0 mg plus 2 times v x m times sine theta times v 0 c. Oops, sorry, I ran off the page there. And then uh, it looks like we've got V0C squared and a V0C. We're going to have to use the quadratic equation to solve this. So rearranging to make it look like a quadratic equation, I get 2 sine theta cos theta, or constants, times V0C squared. Uh, and then another constant is 2VXM uh, sine theta times V0C not squared, and then the remaining constants is minus x0m times g, all equals zero. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation in v0c. Um, the constants are the a is 2 sine theta cos theta, b is the negative 2 uh, v x of the mouse times sine theta, and c is negative uh, x of the mouse, there's the v sine of the mouse, um, x to the mouse times g, and if we work all those numbers out in SI units, we get a is 0 0.7660, b is negative 1.10143, uh, and c is negative 7.84. So skipping a little bit forward, uh, that's the solution for v sub 0 c. Um, sorry, I'm going on to the third page here, but uh, Basically, you can just plug these numbers into your calculator, or you can do it by hand using this solution to the quadratic equation. Uh, square root of 25 is greater than 1, so one of the solutions is positive, 3.929. The other solution is negative, 2.605 meters per second. So we are solving for the speed of the mouse. Um, meaning that uh, it has to be positive from this. You can't, having a negative speed isn't really going to make sense. So I reject this solution and would say that uh, the velocity is 3.9 meters per second. Initial, sorry, initial speed is 3.9 meters per second and the cat will catch the mouse.